back off. Nice to meet you and all that. See? Some of us have manners. Megs or die hard, though. Don't expect any peace and cures from them. But it takes all sorts. Just some old gang around these parts. I hear they were lost to the scorched plague. Only the fans who followed Meg made it out alive. She had the sense to leave before the first of it. So she gets a lot of respect from her people. It's a tough world out there, and you need someone tough to see you through it. Meg's all right, I guess. I was with Lev's crew before we joined her. Meg gets all the credit. But the whole place would fall apart if not for Lev, Lou, and certain others. Oh, what don't I do? As all the layabouts and camp fiends do their thing, seems like it's up to me to fix everything. Not that I'm complaining, but... It gets old sometimes, you know? Sure. Whatever you say. This hole in the ground is no proper living quarters for a handy of my stature. Once I have enough gold to engineer a new body, those insolent robots at White Spring will have to respect me. Nice to have a conversation with one of you 76ers. A lot of your people would like nothing better than to wipe us out, or at least try to. But that would be tough. Just ask Foundation. You like? <laughs> Finding a tuxedo isn't all that hard these days. A million empty stores around. But keeping it freshly laundered. Now that's my trade secret. <laughs> Maybe a touch of envy. Sounds like you had some sweet digs, while the rest of us, not so much. The other thing is impressed. Considering how different you all are, it's a wonder the Overseer kept you all alive. Where's the percentage in it? Say we attack, guns blazing. Best case is we win. And after that, what then? Who do we shake down for caps and food? And I, for one, <laughs> not cut out to be a farmer. <laughs> I think they're fighting against a basic truth. The world's ended. Civilization, laws, and all that government propaganda is more dead now than it was before the war. Now, the sooner they learn that, the better. Many times, 76. I was wondering when you'd work up the nerve to show your face around here, 7-6. I had quite a mess on my hands after that little stunt you pulled. My crew's calm, for now. But you got a lot of work to do if you aim to get back in our good graces. Someone with your skills? You're damn right. Believe it or not, I still got this crew to take care of. Making an enemy out of you ain't high on my list. <laughs> I ain't quite... My crew's calm. 
Oh, really? And what would that be? Oh, yeah? Then why should I care? Don't you and your overall wearing buddies get too comfortable? Just because the Brotherhood poses a bigger threat at the moment, don't mean we're fine with you settling on our land. We'll come for you next. Thoughts? What I got for them are bullets. Luckily, I got some folks who are real passionate about taking those bucket heads down. You want to know more? I'll talk to Pierce over in the war room. It's behind Irie's shop. Just don't get in the way. You'll regret it. Get you later, 7-6. Screw up, Brother Creed, do now. Yeah, we've got each other's back. Of course, I'm pulling his fat out of the fire most of the time. He tries, but I'm not so sure he's tough enough to survive here on his own. I came with Creed. We heard you could make your own fortune here, and they didn't care where you came from. Yeah, they'll gut you like a fish and, uh, strip your corpse for caps, but, I don't know, at least they're upfront about it. Those Foundation settlers will gossip and lie about you behind your back. Before you know it, you'll have no friends. Here, if I prove myself, they won't judge me. Not if I see you first. Unless you're here to pay me, fuck off! Why bother? So long as they stay out of our way, we let them live. At least, until we're ready to take what they have. From Russia before the war. But I like it here. Americans are so soft. Such easy prey. Always! Anyone that gets in my way, well, that doesn't happen twice. Das Vidania. I need to set up my radio someplace where I can talk freely, openly. All I want to do is get out of this place, get my radio set up somewhere, and talk about the world. How it is now. You get me? You... you have? Well, I bet you didn't see stuff while just hanging out in town, did you? No, you went out there in the world. You did stuff. Look, I got this dream. It eats me up inside. I've been traveling with this crowd for a while, and well, I need to get away. You feel me? They're... Well, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I still want to stop by and hang out with them, see the sights, but I need quiet, calm. I need to hear the world. I got a radio. I know some people. Got a buddy here in Crater, a hunter pal out in Foundation. Know some people all over. I know people, man. Seriously? Whoa, that's out of this world. You got space for me there, right? I don't need much. I just need open airwaves, baby. Here, here, take my radio. Set it up at your place. I gotta make some plans, tell some buddies, tell my mom. Oh, yeah, my mom. This 
is the best day! Oh man! I'll see you soon. Yes! My life is really turning around. Everybody on the radio is gonna be so impressed! You snooping or you're on business? Who we have here? Well, they call me Surge, as in surgeon. But <laughs> I'm no doctor. I can put a round in a mole rat's buck teeth at a thousand meters, though. My dad had me shooting as soon as I could hold a pistol straight. Ah, oh, he's gone now. Killed three Yagwai with a pistol once. But he couldn't stop his own ticker from quitting on him. After my dad died, I walked the Appalachian Trail. Figured why not? Spotted Lev in a firefight with some super mutants through my scope. Thought to myself, now that's a man I need to know better. Have a great day. I will. So many humans around. Makes head hurt. You no hurt, Rara! Ever! Grown-ups are okay, but I wish there were more kids around. Yeah, we play lots of games, but she's not always good at the games. Maybe because she's so big? Sometimes I hide and she tries to find me, but she never can and I just get bored and come out. It would be more fun if there was another kid like me. Nope, it's just me. I'm an only child. Meg said she thinks I'm real tough and I must have raised myself, at least until Gail found me. She said the only family I ever need is all the people at the crater, so they're like my brothers and sisters. Yep. Ren said in just a couple of years, I'll be a big bad raider just like her. But Axel said I shouldn't grow up too fast. But I don't care what he says. Boys are dumb sometimes. I want to grow up and be big and strong, just like Meg and Gail. Yeah, if you don't get killed first. Good day to you! Nice vault suit. Your mom dress you? Mm, I knew coming out here was a bust. I'm so tired of this pipe pistol and combat knives. People need to get more. You better watch it. Still. Everybody's loyal, you see. Some people take all they can from us. They use us, then they leave us to rot. It's not right. We aren't a charity. We expect contributions in kind, you know? It's not a complex system here. So, you in? Here's the deal. Anytime somebody leaves our little gang here, I want them found, and I want them dealt with. Fairly. What's fair? Dealer's choice. I just want to know they got the message. And look, no hard feelings, but I sent out some others just a few minutes ago, too. We got a head start. 
but the more the merrier. Will you pull your weight around here, or what? Good. You're not a flake. I'm impressed. I had a hunter follow the trail earlier, so I think these directions will get you close enough. If you only find a corpse, well, that's fine. Maybe the others got there first. I just want to know that it's done. Get lost, pissant. Wait, I've got kids, and lots of kids, what, like ten of them, Tw twenty. Uh, wait. Okay, uh, if you leave me alone, I'll, I'll make sure Roxy gives you something extra, something good. Okay? Deal? Yeah, she will. This isn't the first time I've had to make this arrangement. Just. Don't hurt me. It's a done deal.
You can help if you want. Just don't get in my way. Walk away, and I'll get Roxy to throw something extra in for you. I won't tell her you're a murderous psycho either, okay? Joke's on you! I pack light, loser! I got nothing to say to you. You tell Roxy to do something more productive with her life, and let me live mine. the gang on good terms are you following me wait what no get away from me I love getting stuck for free. Good thing I said it was Can I cross this name off my list or what? Good. I don't even care what you did. I just like to know it's done. Seems like every day some weak punk takes off. Sometimes I don't care. But sometimes they owe us. If we just let them all run off. Other people will think we're weak, like we're here to be used. We've got to watch out for our own, you know? So in the future, swing by sometime. I'll let you know if another wimp is pissed off.